Good morning. Welcome or welcome back. I'm Claire. We're going to be taking a look at the energies in the air for this Gemini new moon. What's going on? May 22nd, 2020. Um, we're going to be just taking a quick peek into what the current energies are. Then we will do a one, two, and three card spread at the end. Um, if you're like, girl, I don't want to watch the whole video. It might go on a little longer today just because I'm going to talk about the astrology that's going on respect i will have the timestamps down below go ahead get your little peek into your day go on do whatever you want i don't care um things are showing up anyways guys um today we have the new moon is in gemini uh there's like a ton going on astrologically the sun actually moved out of taurus i'm gonna say like 20 minutes ago when i was filming this video so by the time this goes up this moon will be in gemini the new moon is exact around 140 EDT. Um, and uh, what else can I really say about that new moon? Um, we have Mercury conjunct Venus. It was a really good day to be um, embracing like that storytelling nature of Gemini. This is a really good day to be journaling for yourself to yourself because we also have Mercury squaring off to Neptune. So this is like miscommunications out the wazoo. So not the greatest day to be talking to other people necessarily about what's going on in your heart. This is a really good day to get the journal out, get the video diary out, go to the beach and like yell at God, that that kind of energy. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know what I mean? Um, we also have the sun trining Saturn. So we're going to feel real like hecka good about all the boundaries that we've been establishing lately. I know it's kind of been a slog, but today Saturn, like, Daddy Saturn is going to like come in and help us integrate those things in a way that feels, <sighs> yeah, we've got support, we've got celestial support today. So without further ado, let's just get right into it, guys. We've got, um, what have we got? I don't know. <laughs> What's the collective energy today? Um, May 22nd, 2020, with this new moon, what are the energies in the collective? The energy of the collective today. Okay, let's see. We've got the King of Cups, Knight of Cups, pardon me, reversed. We've got the Seven cups reverse we have the two of wands reverse and we've got the sun reversed yo guys and the tower reverse <sighs> okay <laughs> king of swords reverse strength reverse two of cups the empress on the bottom of the deck this is feeling spookily similar to what was going on yesterday guys mm. with some key um, variations. Okay, so let's talk about this combination right here. So you know how I was talking about like miscommunications are like gonna be the day today. Like it's just gonna be one of those days where you're like, I meant to say this, but it came out like this and now you're misunderstanding me and now I don't know what to do. Um, and now I don't know what to do. And like you, you whatever. Um, this is kind of the, looking at, as well, your internal light, just the fact that all of these cards are reversed, I'm really going to go ahead and just, like, this is going to be you with you. This this is, like, an internal kind of inner world journey that we're going to be uh, going on today. Um, and I kind of see this as, like, these are the stories that we're telling ourselves about why we are unlovable quote unquote or why other people can't be our happiness um or maybe like dropping the illusion that someone else can make us happy um and it will be destabilizing but like in the most appropriate of ways um we have this knight of cups reversed here so there might be some communication from like, you know, you might have a, a lover from the past trying to like hop in your DMs. This might be you like having dreams about somebody with the seven of cups. Um, and 
you know, like whatever those impressions or dreams are, I encourage that self journaling thing. Just get it going today because, you know, the people, people are able to see like a slice of the picture, you know, the whole picture. Um, so tell it to yourself for yourself, tell yourself those stories so that you can understand that, um, you know, those people, people don't always get, um, out of their own way when they are in relationships and, you know, it's, it's really good to like, kind of let those belief systems fall. Let those like, no one could ever possibly see me in this light and love me. Those things fall. Let it just like, mm. It was never true in the first place. Like, don't lie to yourself, girl. People love you. People are capable of loving you. But often the issues that come up in those relationships, they're not always to do with you. Sometimes it's more about, like, int like intimacy is really quite a, a <laughs> you know? Like, it's, it's not something that you just know how to do. Usually, by the time we reach the age of when we're, like, questioning our lives, um... You know, it's something that is beat out of us, I think, in our in our culture. You know, my context is Western culture. I live in Canada. So, you know, just kind of like taking that stuff and just kind of like allowing those those cogs to turn. Throwing it out. Let's throw it out. It's garbage. It's bullshit. <laughs> okay. Anyways, let's get right into it, guys. <laughs> Um, have your card one, two, or three in mind, and we're going to get into those. And we'll see what's up. Okay, may I have card number one for collective messages today? Card one. Card two. Card three. I do recommend listening to all three, guys. Um, but I get it. Timestamps are below if you're like, deuces. So, card number one, let's start with you. Bottom of the deck, general energy for all of these readings is the Knight of Swords, followed by the Six of Wands, reversed, followed by the Emperor. So somebody is getting something done that needs doing. It might come at the cost of, like, um, it might come at the cost of some ego, I'm kind of seeing. Or this can be um, feeling like your ego is bruised in some way. It's kind of possible see card number one we have for you the four of cups okay so card number one this is going to be a internal day aren't we just so excited to spend more time with ourselves yeah um this card really talks about spending time in introspection this is that energy of like i'm gonna see if this aligns with who i am um just because of the flavor of the day, I feel like this is really going to be for you, card number one, talking about, like, what your self-limiting beliefs are. Um, well, let's take a closer look. What? This can be, like, finding your own voice that is just, like, in the ether today. Like, it's really good to be seeking your answers through platforms such as this. But you will know what is true for you. And really honing into that, honing into that higher self when you're seeking that information elsewhere will just be like, it'll just shift things really positively. Um, let's clarify this Four of Cups. Why is it here? We have the Wheel of Fortune reversed. We have the Knight of Cups reversed. We have the King of Pentacles. Okay, I'm just gonna readjust here, guys, because stuff is getting stuff is getting spicy. Okay, wheel of fortune. I feel like with this, you can't see my table, but we've got the four of cups here. We've got the king of pentacles here. We've got the wheel of fortune here. We've got the knight of cups here, and they're both reversed. So it's kind of like your internal world has to acknowledge some of these cycles that you're in um before you can find like the stability that's underlying it um before you can get to that place of feeling like really abundant um the wheel of fortune is really in the reversal it's kind of talking about like um incomplete cycles 
it's really talking about um in a detrimental way I feel like it's kind of talking about like relying on like the universe to take care of stuff so that you don't necessarily have to um with the king of pentacles here it's like yes the power of attraction is real um and yes it's really good to like believe that you know good things are coming down the pipe but like this king of pentacles is like get real get material about it like there's like a hustle aspect to your dreams that um are very <laughs> integral to like um the manifestation or like it's like when um preparation or luck is like preparation meets i don't know something else I hope you understand what I'm trying to say because I'm just like, it's just kind of exciting. So that's cool. Um, let's clarify this Knight of Cups. I feel like you're going to tell me everything I need to know. Why is this Knight of Cups here for collected messages today? Okay, we've got the Five of Cups reversed. Um, okay, so this can be also talking about, um, coming out of a little bit of a darker place, coming out of that place of, like, you have to let some things go before new things can come in. It's like, unless this is properly grieved, the wheel will never fully turn. Like, you will be stuck in this place. And it might suck. But I don't really, like, I don't really see that, I don't know. Can I clarify this Wheel of Fortune for collective message number one? We've got the Five of Wands and the Chariot. So this is, yeah, this is just talking about getting those things underway that... To me, this can be <laughs> fighting for yourself. This can really be talking about be vigilant against waiting for things to just happen. Um, this, like, fight for yourself is, like, it's coming through so strong. It's like, fight for yourself. You deserve to feel satisfied wherever you are in your life like I don't know if this relation or this situation this relationship is maybe a situation or like you will know um these cards are really kind of just talking about like be unafraid to like go go ham for yourself you know like you deserve it you deserve to have your emotional needs met babe like damn all right that's spicy there I'm sorry but you need to fight for yourself okay you deserve you deserve to get into this place of like the king of pentacles where you're feeling like stable you're feeling good you're feeling like abundant so abundant um we're gonna move on i hope that resonated let's go to card number two we have the two of pentacles so card number two you might be juggling a lot of things today this is like gemini Oh, shiz. Um, this is talking about, like, you're maybe balancing a ton of things. This can be other people's expectations of you. This can be your expectations of yourself. This can be the stories that you're telling yourself. This can be, like, an influx of information. Um, let's clarify. <laughs> Why is this two of pentacles here? Why is this two of pentacles here for... The collective. We've got the Ten of Cups, we've got the Page of Swords reversed, and the King of Wands. One more. And the Ten of Wands reversed. Unburdening is kind of the, you know, it is what it is. Um, these messages are like coming through so similar to what's been going on this past week so if you're watching this I'm repeating myself you know just like this message is it's not 
it's not just accidental that you're watching this. Um, okay. Two of pentacles. Juggling. <laughs> you know what you're juggling? Expectations of what something is going to be. You're just like align this shield. Um, and like what is causing the sense of overwhelm? This is like you got so much on your plate, you're like allowing yourself to be, not allowing, but you are being pulled in so many different ways um, that these two really want to come in and just be like, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to operate from my place of power. I'm going to like do what's right for me right now. Um, I'm not going to allow myself to be overburdened with other people's junk. Like the, you, um, two you might be the empaths in your friend group who people are going to be coming to today with all of their like, I am having a time and I need to vent. Great. You know, it's like such a privilege to be that person for other people. But just know, pile number two, y'all got to take care of yourselves. Um, and it's really good to be. I feel like you're in that place where you're like, if I take care of you. I'm going to overburden myself. If I take on your emotional um, whatever, I will be fundamentally depriving myself of the clarity that I need to be getting to myself. Wow. I hope that resonates. Uh, pile number two. I'm going to move right along. We're going to go to pile number three. The devil reverse. Pile number three always gets it. Like, I mean, yeet, y'all. Okay, the devil reverse really talks about, like, being stuck in a toxic cycle. It really talks about, like, believing, oh, this person was, like, supposed to be the one, or this job was supposed to be the job, or, like, this project was supposed to be the thing, and, like, being so, so incredibly bound to it, feeling so incredibly, like, indebted to it in some way or like feeling like you can't escape it that you can't escape it this is the power of the mind guys um we have the ace of pentacles on the bottom of the deck so opportunity related we have the four of wands on the top of the deck so yeah this is like are these opportunities really worth it is kind of what these two are asking um i talk a lot about this card because i feel like it's one of the more complex cards in the minor arcana but if you notice the figures, can you see it? Yes. The If you notice the figures, they're itty bitty. You know, there's only so many cards in the tarot where the figures aren't the active focus. And the reason for that is, is when something like a venture is so big that it makes you lose touch with yourself, you got to look a little closer. It can be really positive. You know, it can be like... This card has so many different applications, but with the devil right now and the ace of pentacles, I'm seeing like, you might need to question trustworthiness of a thing. Whether that's a story you're telling yourself, whether that's a new opportunity coming in, whether that's a new start. Just, yeah. All right. Let's clarify a, a smidgen further. Why is this devil card here for collective messages? Okay, we've got the Page of Cups. So I feel like this is really, um, Page of Cups can be someone, it can be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. It can also be a younger person. It can also be like the facet of yourself that is like emotionally, I want to say underdeveloped, but like underdeveloped. Um, it can be the part of yourself where you are allowing your optimism and like your enthusiasm people probably really like that about you but it's it's uh, it's that part of you that is expressing itself in such a like fun playful like I want to play games way that you're like fundamentally depriving yourself of like um leveling up you're, you're depriving yourself of outgrowing that devil situation. You're depriving yourself of the way in which to work with um, what you're 
I'm feeling like your psyche, your situation, your heart, whatever, like whatever those information messages are trying to come up. It's like, there's it, it, like working too much with that playful energy can like really, really get in the way of your growth is what I'm hearing. Tough love, baby. Okay. Um, I'm going to wrap it up. I hope that resonated card number three. Um, what is the, is there any like one, like, here's how you work with this energy today for the collective, this weird ass new moon that we're having. <laughs> this is a weird one. Um, yeah, the emperor. Okay, guys, this is, you know, we say it every time this card comes up, do what needs to be done. Um, you may not be the most popular person for doing it, but your job isn't to be popular in this lifetime. Your job is to be yourself. Your job is to like, your job is to be yourself. You know, it's returning to self always. That's what Venus retrograde is always about. It's returning to self. Anyways, I digress. Um, do what needs to be done today, guys. Know that the universe has your back, even if the people in your life don't like it for like five minutes. Tough titty. <laughs> You're here because